The Katyusha Multiple Rocket Launcher Russian, Katusa IPA, KTU Listen, is a type of rocket artillery first built and fielded by the Soviet Union in World War II. Multiple rocket launchers such as these deliver explosives to a target area more quickly than conventional artillery, but with lower accuracy and requiring a longer time to reload. They are fragile compared to artillery guns, but are inexpensive, easy to produce, and usable on any chassis. The Katyushas of World War II, the first self-propelled artillery mass produced by the Soviet Union, were usually mounted on ordinary trucks. This mobility gave the Katyusha, and other self-propelled artillery, another advantage, being able to deliver a large blow all at once, and then move before being located and attacked with counter-battery fire. Katyusha weapons of World War II included the BM-13 launcher, light BM-8, and heavy BM-31. Today, the nickname is also applied to newer truck-mounted post-Soviet, in addition to non-Soviet, multiple rocket launchers, notably the common BM-21 Grad and its derivatives. Although this type of weapon has existed since the 15th century Leonardo da Vinci having perfected a similar machine, the design of the Katyusha may have been influenced by Giuseppe Fieschi's machine Infernal. Fieschi was honored in a religious service at a Moscow church at the prompting of Soviet General Kotskov, the inventor of the Katyusha rocket launcher. Topic. Nickname Initially, concerns for secrecy kept the military designation of the Katyushas from being known by the soldiers who operated them. They were called by code names such as Kostakov guns, after the head of the RNII, the Reaction Engine Scientific Research Institute, and finally classed as Guards Mortars. The name BM-13 was only allowed into secret documents in 1942, and remained classified until after the war, because they were marked with the letter K for Voronezh Komintern Factory. Red Army troops adopted a nickname from Mikhail Isakovsky's popular wartime song, Katyusha about a girl longing for her absent beloved, who has gone away on military service. Katyusha is the Russian equivalent of Katy, an endearing diminutive form of the name Catherine, Yekaterina Katya Katyusha. German troops coined the nickname, Stalin's Organ. German, Stalinorgel, after Soviet leader Joseph Stalin, comparing the visual resemblance of the launch array to a pipe organ, and the sound of the weapon's rocket motors, a distinctive howling sound which terrified the German troops, adding a psychological warfare aspect to their use. Weapons of this type are known by the same name in Denmark, Danish, Stalinorgel, Finland, Finnish, Stalin in Urut, France, French, Org de Staline, Norway, Norwegian, Stalinorgel, the Netherlands and Belgium, Dutch, Stalinorgel, Hungary, Hungarian, Stalinorgona, Spain and other Spanish speaking countries, Spanish, Organos de Stalin, as well as in Sweden, Swedish, Stalinorgel, the heavy BM 31 launcher was also referred to as Andrea. Andrusha, Andrusha, an affectionate diminutive of Andrew. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II. 
Kadyusha rocket launchers, which were invented in Voronezh, were mounted on many platforms during World War II, including on trucks, artillery tractors, tanks, and armored trains, as well as on naval and riverine vessels as assault support weapons. Soviet engineers also mounted single Kadyusha rockets on lengths of railway track to serve in urban combat. The design was relatively simple, consisting of racks of parallel rails on which rockets were mounted, with a folding frame to raise the rails to launch position. Each truck had 14 to 48 launchers. The M13 rocket of the BM13 system was 80 cm long, 13.2 cm in, in diameter and weighed 42 kg The weapon is less accurate than conventional artillery guns, but is extremely effective in saturation bombardment, and was particularly feared by German soldiers. A battery of four BM-13 launchers could fire a salvo in 7 to 10 seconds that delivered 4.35 tons of high explosives over a 400,000 square meter 4,300,000 square feet impact zone, making its power roughly equivalent to that of 72 conventional artillery guns. With an efficient crew, the launchers could redeploy to a new location immediately after firing, denying the enemy the opportunity for counter-battery fire. Kadyusha batteries were often massed in very large numbers to create a shock effect on enemy forces. The weapon's disadvantage was the long time it took to reload a launcher, in contrast to conventional guns which could sustain a continuous low rate of fire. Topic. Development In June 1938, the Soviet Reaction Engine Scientific Research Institute RNII in Moscow was authorized by the Main Artillery Directorate GAL to develop a multiple rocket launcher for the minus 132 rupees aircraft rocket RS for Reiktivny Snaryad, rocket-powered shell. I, GVAY led a design team in Chelyabinsk, Russia, which built several prototype launchers firing the modified 132mm M132 rockets over the sides of ZIS-5 trucks. These proved unstable, and VN. Galkovsky proposed mounting the launch rails longitudinally. In August 1939, the result was the BM-13 BM stands for Bovamachina translate, Boyavaya Machina, combat vehicle for M-13 rockets. The first large-scale testing of the rocket launchers took place at the end of 1938, when 233 rounds of various types were used. A salvo of rockets could completely straddle a target at a range of 5,500 meters (3.4 miles). But the artillery branch was not fond of the Katyusha because it took up to 50 minutes to load and fire 24 rounds, while a conventional howitzer could fire 95 to 150 rounds in the same time. Testing with various rockets was conducted through 1940, and the BM-13-16 with launch rails for 16 rockets was authorized for production. Only 40 launchers were built before Germany invaded the Soviet Union in June 1941. After their success in the first month of the war, mass production was ordered and the development of other models proceeded. 
The Katyusha was inexpensive and could be manufactured in light industrial installations which did not have the heavy equipment to build conventional artillery gun barrels. By the end of 1942, 3,237 Katyusha launchers of all types had been built, and by the end of the war, total production reached about 10,000. The truck mounted Katyushas were installed on ZIS 6 6 4 trucks, as well as the two axles ZIS 5 and Zs 5 volts. In 1941, a small number of BM-13 launchers were mounted on STZ-5 artillery tractors. A few were also tried on KV tank chassis as the KV-1K, but this was a needless waste of heavy armor. Starting in 1942, they were also mounted on various British, Canadian and U.S. Lend-Lease trucks, in which case they were sometimes referred to as BM-13S. The cross-country performance of the Studebaker US 6 2.5-ton 6x6 truck was so good that it became the GAU standard mounting in 1943, designated BM-13N Normalizavani, standardized, and more than 1,800 of this model were manufactured by the end of World War II. After World War II, BM-13s were based on Soviet-built ZIS-151 trucks. The 82mm BM-8 was approved in August 1941, and deployed as the BM-836 on truck beds and BM-824 on T-40 and T-60 light tank chassis. Later these were also installed on Gaz 67 Jeeps as the BM-88, and on the larger Studebaker trucks as the BM-848. In 1942, the team of scientists Leonid Schwartz, Moise Komisarchik and engineer Yakov Shore received the Stalin Prize for the development of the BM-848, based on the M-13. The M-30 rocket was developed in 1942. Its bulbous warhead required it to be fired from a grounded frame, called the M-30 single frame, four round, later double frame, eight round, instead of a launch rail mounted on a truck. In 1944 it became the basis for the BM-31 12-truck mounted launcher, a battery of BM-13-16 launchers included four firing vehicles, two reload trucks and two technical support trucks, with each firing vehicle having a crew of six. Reloading was executed in three to four minutes, although the standard procedure was to switch to a new position some 10 kilometers away due to the ease with which the battery could be identified by the enemy. Three batteries were combined into a division company, and three divisions into a separate mine firing regiment of rocket artillery. Topic. Variants Soviet World War II rocket systems were named according to standard templates which are the following. BMXY names used for ground vehicles MXY names used for towed trailers and sledges YMX names used for Navy where X is a model of a missile. Y is a number of launch rails, tubes, in particular, BM-816 is a vehicle which fires M-8 missiles and has 16 rails. BM-3112 is a vehicle which fires M-31 missiles and has 12 launch tubes. Short names such as BM-8 or BM-13 were used too. 
number of launch rails, tubes is absent here. Such names describe launchers only no matter what vehicle they are mounted on. In particular BM-824 had a number of variants, vehicle mounted ZIS-5 truck, tank mounted T-40 and tractor mounted STZ-3. All of them had the same name, BM-824. Other launchers had a number of variants mounted on different vehicles too. Typical set of vehicles for Soviet missile systems is the following ZIS-5 truck ZIS-6 truck Gaz AA truck STZ-3 tractor T-40 tank Studebaker US-6 truck Armored train car River boat, towed sledge, towed trailer, backpack portable variant, so called Mountain Kadyusha, ZIS 151 truck, used after the war. Note, there was also an experimental KV 1K, Kadyusha mounted on KV 1 tank which was not taken in service. A list of some implementations of the Katyusha follows. Topic: <inaudible> Rocket variants. Rockets used in the above implementations were the M8 and M13 rocket could also be fitted with smoke warheads, although this was not common. Topic. Combat history The multiple rocket launchers were top secret in the beginning of World War II. A special unit of the NKVD troops was raised to operate them. On July 14, 1941, an experimental artillery battery of seven launchers was first used in battle at Orsha in the Vitebsk region of Belarus, under the command of Captain Ivan Flyerov, destroying a concentration of German troops with tanks, armored vehicles and trucks at the marketplace, causing massive German army casualties and its retreat from the town in panic. Following the success, the Red Army organized new guards mortar batteries for the support of infantry divisions. A battery's complement was standardized at four launchers. They remained under NKVD control until German Nebelwerfer rocket launchers became common later in the war. On August 8, 1941, Stalin ordered the formation of eight Special Guards mortar regiments under the direct control of the Reserve of the Supreme High Command. RVGK. Each regiment comprised three battalions of three batteries, totaling 36 BM-13 or BM-8 launchers. Independent Guards mortar battalions were also formed, comprising 12 launchers in three batteries of four. By the end of 1941, there were eight regiments, 35 independent battalions, and two independent batteries in service, fielding a total of 554 launchers. In June 1942, heavy guards mortar battalions were formed around the new M30 static rocket launch frames, consisting of 96 launchers in three batteries. In July, a battalion of BM-13s was added to the establishment of a tank corps. In 1944, the BM-31 was used in motorized heavy guards mortar battalions of 48 launchers. 
In 1943, Guards Mortar Brigades, and later divisions, were formed equipped with static launchers. By the end of 1942, 57 regiments were in service. Together with the smaller independent battalions, this was the equivalent of 216 batteries, 21% BM-8 light launchers, 56% BM-13, and 23% M-30 heavy launchers. By the end of the war, the equivalent of 518 batteries were in service. Topic: Post-war development. The success and economy of multiple rocket launchers (MRL) have led them to continue to be developed. In the years following World War II, the BM-13 was replaced by the 140 mm BM-14 and the BM-31 was replaced by the 240 mm BM-24. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union fielded several models of Katyusha like MRL, notably the BM-21 Grad launchers somewhat inspired by the earlier weapon, and the larger BM-27 Urigan. Advances in artillery munitions have been applied to some Katyusha type multiple launch rocket systems, including bomblet sub munitions, remotely deployed land mines, and chemical warheads. With the breakup of the Soviet Union, Russia inherited most of its military arsenal, including its large complement of MRLs. In recent history, they have been used by Russian forces during the First and Second Chechen Wars and by Armenian and Azerbaijani forces during the Nagorno-Karabakh War. Georgian government forces are reported to have used BM-21 Grad or similar rocket artillery in fighting in the 2008 South Ossetia War. Katyusha-like launchers were exported to Afghanistan, Angola, Czechoslovakia, Egypt, East Germany, Hungary, Iran, Iraq, Mongolia, North Korea, Poland, Syria, Yemen and Vietnam. They were also built in Czechoslovakia, the People's Republic of China, North Korea, and Iran. Proper Katyushas BM-13s also saw action in the Korean War, used by the Chinese People's Volunteer Army against the South and United Nations forces. Soviet BM-13s were known to have been imported to China before the Sino-Soviet split and were operational in the People's Liberation Army. Israel captured BM-24 MRLs during the Six-Day War 1967, used them in two battalions during the Yom Kippur War 1973, and the 1982 Lebanon War, and later developed the MAR-240 launcher for the same rockets, based on a Sherman tank chassis. The rockets were employed by the Tanzania People's Defense Force in the Uganda-Tanzania War. Tanzanian forces called them Baba Mtakadifu Kiswahili for Holy Father. While the Ugandans called them Saba Saba, during the 2006 Lebanon War, Hezbollah fired between 3,970 and 4,228 rockets, from light truck mounts and single rail man portable launchers. About 95% of these were 122 mm 4.8 in Syrian manufactured M210F type artillery rockets which carried warheads up to 30 kg 66 pounds and had a range of 20 km perhaps up to 30 km 19 miles. 
Hamas has launched 122 UM Grad type Katyusha rockets from the Gaza Strip against several cities in Israel, although they are not reported to have truck mounted launchers. Although Katyusha originally referred to the mobile launcher, today the rockets are often referred to as Katyushas. Some allege that the CIA bought Katyushas from the Egyptian military and supplied them to the Mujahideen via Pakistan's ISI during the Soviet Afghan War. Katyusha like MRLs were also allegedly used by the Rwandan Patriotic Front during its 1990 invasion of Rwanda through the 1994 genocide. They were effective in battle, but translated into much anti Tutsi sentiment in the local media. It was reported that BM 21 grad launchers were used against American forces during the 2003 invasion of Iraq. They have also been used in the Afghanistan and Iraq insurgencies. In Iraq, according to Associated Press and Agents France Press reports, Katyusha like rockets were fired at the Green Zone late March 2008. Katyusha rockets were reportedly used by both Gaddafi loyalists and anti Gaddafi forces during the Libyan Civil War. Also, several countries have continued to build and operate Katyusha like systems well into the 21st century. Theory, as for example the Teruel MRL of the Spanish Army. In February 2013, the Defense Ministry of Yemen reported seizing an Iranian ship, and that the ship's cargo included among its other weapons, Katyusha rockets. In August 2013, the Irish Republican dissident group Oglai Naharan was blamed for planting a Katyusha style rocket in undergrowth next to a field near Cullihanna in South Armagh in an area used by soldiers on training exercises. The weapon was to be triggered using a mobile phone. On May 19, 2019, a Katyusha rocket was fired inside the Green Zone in Baghdad, Iraq, landing less than a mile from the U.S. Embassy near the statue of the unknown soldier. No casualties were reported. Topic. See also Hawacha, Korean gunpowder-based flaming arrow launcher from the 1500s Congreve rocket, British military weapon designed by Sir William Congreve in 1804 Nebelwerfer, the most common barrage rocket series employed by the Wehrmacht in World War II Panzerwerfer, German rocket launcher mounted on a half track. Werfram N40, another German rocket launcher mounted on a half track. Land mattress, employed by Allied forces in World War II. T-34 Calliope, rocket launcher mounted on M4 Sherman tank chassis. Last vehicle mounted highly mobile multiple rocket launcher by U.S. land forces, before abandoning this concept till the latter's concept comeback in the mid-80s. List of rocket artillery <laughs>